For this Flannery Studio Tech Tip, we want to do a quick walkthrough of the Brembo Gran Turismo six piston and four piston kits that are available for the S10 and the WRX. Um, the inspiration for this is we have this kit coming in for a customer, and with all the interest that we've gotten about the video of the 18 STI brakes, especially all the questions that we've got as far as whether those calibers or that brake kit will be able to be put on an older Subaru, we wanted to kind of go through and compare and contrast the Brembo kit that is already available specifically for those older Subarus. Um, you know, because it is a six piston caliper and it seems like there's a, there's a ton of renewed interest in brakes and you know, upgrading to a six piston caliper and such. And fortunately, Brembo has a kit out there already uh, designed to do just that. So, so first by the numbers, um, the front rotor in this kit is a 355 millimeter rotor of two piece construction. The rear rotor is a 345 millimeter rotor, also of two piece construction. So that's significant for two reasons. The first is um, the front rotor is 15 millimeters larger and the rear rotor is 17 millimeters larger, even than what's coming on uh, the 2018 STI. So that in and of itself is, a, is a increase, uh, an increase in performance. Um, but also the two-piece construction saves a lot of weight. Uh, we don't have a weight yet on the 18 STI rotors, but we're sure that they're gonna weigh a lot. And that two-piece construction is probably gonna save a lot of weight compared to what is, what is coming on the 18 STI. So there's a, a good weight savings and a performance gain from the increase in size. For the calipers themselves, uh, they're both six piston front calipers. Uh, in the GT kit, it's a monoblock caliper with the center rib. Uh, that's to help with caliper rigidity. Um, the thing to note is the, the 18 STI has got the pin in the, in the caliper here. It is a different caliper. Um, so with the GT kit, you're gonna have to remove the caliper to change the pads, whereas in the 18 STI, you don't. Um, with both of these kits, front and rear, they do not bolt directly to the knuckle. There's an aluminum adapter this bolts to the knuckle of the car and then the caliper bolts to that. So just something to keep in mind, that's one of the key differences between this caliper and the one that comes on the 18 STI. Um, the other one is in regards, other key difference with these kits is in regards to um, fitment on, this, on the older cars. One of the biggest question marks that we've got for the 18 STI uh, front and rear calipers as far as whether they're gonna fit the older cars is the parking brake in the back. Because Brembo designed these specifically for those cars, of course, the, the uh, rear top head here does have the parking brake drum incorporated into it. So you're going to bolt these right up, your parking brake's still going to work just fine, and there's going to be no surprises. So that's probably the biggest advantage in a kit like this is that you know, Brembo has specifically designed it for those older applications, and so everything that you need is going to be in the kit and it's going to bolt right up, everything's going to work just fine. Um, these kits are, are not cheap. Um, the, the front kit is about $4,000, the rear kit is about $3,600, but I can tell you that the, the Brembo brakes that are on the 18 STI are not cheap either. Um, looking uh, at the parts as we have, the front calipers, for instance, are $1,125 each, bare calipers with no hardware. Um, the pads are, are quite expensive, as are the rotors. So, in comparing the price between these Brembo kits and what's on the 18 STI, these are a little bit more expensive, but you have the benefit of a larger rotor, the two-piece construction, and it, you know, so there's a little bit of a performance increase and they're already designed to fit the older applications. So if you're really excited about the brakes that are on the 18 STI, the good news is Brembo already has kits front and rear for the older STIs and such that give you every bit as much performance, if not even more, uh, at a similar price as what's on the 18 STI. So that's why we want to just kind of go through these and, and let's you know, let people know what the differences were between these GT kits and what's on the 18 STI. And, and frankly, it's enough that this probably would still be, I would still say this is a pretty decent upgrade even for the 18 STI, really. Um, so yeah, so thanks very much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and stay tuned for more Flatirons Tuning Tech Tips.